Hi everyone, my name is Amy Alvis and I'm the Assistant Librarian at the Corinth Branch of Northeast Regional Library. Today as part of our Oceans of Possibilities Summer Reading Program activities, I will be making the Rock and Whale Craft from the Age Group 6 to 11 Activity Pack number 1. So if you don't already have one of the Activity Packs, be sure to stop by your local library and pick one up and check out all of the other exciting things we have going on right now. So let's get started by rounding up the supplies we will be needing to make this craft. So inside of your activity pack, you will find a paper plate, a half sheet of white copy paper, and your instruction sheet to make the rock and whale. You're also going to need some crayons or paint, whichever you would like, a marker, some scissors, some glue, and maybe even some tape. I won't be speaking a whole lot more during the remaining of the video just because I'm enjoying listening to the waves crash along the shore. But first thing we are going to do is fold our paper plate in half. take this top corner here to about here and we're going to make a fold there as well. This will make the head of the whale. with my marker. From about that bottom fold edge to the inside of the ribbed edge. We're going to cut this little notch out right here for its little mouth and we'll draw some straight lines down to make the gills. going to do the very same thing on the other side. The other thing I need to draw is the tail fin. This will be cut out of your paper plate. So I'm going to start by making a dot right here. This will tell me I cannot cut past this dot. And I'm going to make a rather large and wide U shape starting from about here. Thank you. 
and then I'm going to, from the bottom part of it, I'm going to come back up in another curved line, something like this. And that will make that V right there. You can also go ahead and draw your eye if you want. I'm going to make that about right here, I think. I can do that on the other side. I don't have to draw the other uh, tail fin, though. an idea where that other eye was. It was right about there. <clears throat> and then at this point, I'm going to go ahead and color everything but this inside fold of the head. Most whales are black. And I think I'm going to choose some random colors. I like blue and maybe some turquoise. Well, that one is, yeah. And how about, I like purple. We'll try those three colors. And I would color everything but the inside of the eye. And the gills. to be easier to color it now when I was still coloring on a semi-flat surface you're going to have the ridges and stuff but that's okay Enjoying listening to the waves? I know I am. I'm glad that there's a little breeze blowing because it is a warm day outside. But who says crafts have to be done indoors? are getting to me. I'll go back in with some turquoise.
You see I got just a little bit inside there. That's okay. Just shows the crafts don't have to be perfect. To be cute. <laughs> I'm gonna come back in with a little bit of purple. Cause why not? Ooh, look at that. What's your favorite color? You can add your favorite color in your whale. I'm not gonna put too much purple in there though. Maybe I'll color the inside of the tail fin solid purple. How do you think that would look? are all colored. I'm going to start cutting a few things. One was that very first notch for the whale's mouth. And I'm going to go ahead and cut through both sides of the paper plate at once. Hopefully my lines line up on both sides. If they don't, it's okay. Let's see. Well, close. That's all right. You see how that whale's mouth came together like that? Okay. So now we're going to cut this back bit. The only parts we're going to cut out though are that V shape. This part will form the tail fin. Let's go ahead and cut that. We're going to save this piece that we're getting ready to cut out Oh, for his side fins. Now we're going to carefully cut the rest of that line only to where it ends. And then something magic is going to happen. to about right there and then like I said you can color the inside of those tail fins too if you want I'm just gonna do this all purple Or maybe I'll add some blue in there as well. Coloring on cardboard too, so that's got some ridges in it. Carry it just a little bit that far. Let me go ahead and see if I can't grab my blue crayon. Got my turquoise as well. This is going to look just a little bit different because I started with a different color. And just because I can, I'm going to put a little bit of that turquoise in there. Are you ready for the magic? All of those folds go back into place. And watch this. 
we're going to take that tail fin and fold it up right where the cuts end. And looky there, when you fold it back together and pinch it just a little bit, your whale has its tail fin. How cute is that? So now we're going to glue this part together. Let's go ahead and finish those fins since we're going to glue at the same time. So let's just cut out a little shape. Cut the corners off and go as big as you can. And then we're going to cut that edge off as well, the folded side, so that we have two fins one for each side. You can open it up just like I am there. And we're going to finish that cut like that. Okay? Now let's get our glue. And we're going to fold, let's see. How do we want our little fin to go? We'll put our little fin like that. And if we need to, we can always use that tape as well. So I just folded in one of the little corners down there so I can put a dot of glue. Let's go ahead and get this part glued down. This will keep the whale in its shape so it will rot when we're all finished. So just a little bit of glue in there. Hopefully my glue works. Let's see. I may have a little problem in there. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to take the little cap off. Hmm. Put that aside. I'd have had a mess if I'd pushed too hard. That whole cap would have come off, huh? All right. So let's put a little glue in there. Not a whole lot. We'll just smear it in with the tip. Just like that. go ahead and dip my that little tip right there into some of that glue and I'll put my fin right about there how's that and I'll take the other one get some glue on that tip and I'll put that one right there on the other side and I'm just going to hold them in place, press that together, and let that dry for just a minute. Now while it is completely drying, I'm going to take this other piece of paper that I have, and I'm going to start cutting it. First I'm just going to put that glue bottle down, maybe that will hold it in place. I'll set the tape right there and let that dry just a little bit. And I'm going to take this other piece of paper, and this is going to be the water spout. And all we're going to do is just cut strips, not all the way through, but to about right there. And you're going to cut all of the paper. And we just keep cutting these strips. Ooh. It's a little tricky, but it'll be worth it, I promise you. This is going to be the water spout. And these little strips, like I said, do not have to be perfect, but just keep cutting. Can you hear the speedboats zipping by? 
There's a lot of people on the river today. And just keep cutting and cutting and cutting. I thought maybe the coloring would be the longest part, but maybe this cutting is taking the longest time. Maybe if I had bigger scissors, but I carry all of these craft supplies, these markers and crayons and tape and glue um, in my car with me because I have grandbabies and I never know when I might have the opportunity to see them and do something fun with them. So I like to be prepared. Almost there. This is really good cutting practice. I'm sure you all know how to cut already. But still, practice never hurts anybody. You know what they say about that, right? Oops. One slipped right out of my hands. Okay, let's finish that one and go back to the beginning where I left just a little bit there. Maybe I'll just do one extra cut right there. Okay. So now we're just going to roll this up. Just take one edge and start rolling. And roll it all the way to the edge of the paper. I think I'm going to use just a little bit of tape when I finish rolling it just to make sure it kind of stays in place. We don't have to glue this bit in. just to make sure that kind of holds. Let's go ahead and take that end. Okay. Then you can shake it out like that. If you wanted to curl some of your edges, you can uh, use your finger and kind of curl them down. You can wind it on a crayon or a pencil. You've got your marker here as well. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do it kind of quickly with my fingers. Not all of them, just a few of them. What do you think? I think that's okay. So then let's go back to our whale. And about right here on the top of his head, we're gonna cut just a small slit. Let's check that glue first, that glue hole. Let's just go ahead. On the inside, we'll put a little piece of tape right there. On the bottom of it, I'll show you. Like right here we'll put a piece just to help that glue keep 
keep drying. There we go. And then right about in the middle of the forehead, we're going to make just a little notch. Okay? We're going to push our water spout through there. And if we need to, we can also tape that in place as well. Let's squeeze that in there. Get on in there. Push it in. There it goes. See. I do believe you're ready. What do you think about your rock and whale? Is that not the cutest little thing? <laughs>